With the signed MOU, police will provide 4.2 acres of its land at Nanguru for the construction of the outer state of art stadium that will accommodate different sports disciplines. Speaking about the project, IGP General Kale Kaihura uploaded the ULC for the innovation and promised maximum support from the police force as the project is bound to make more Akiaboa athletes. In the last recruitment, I remember, out of the marathons we have been having, we identified some, uh, a number of uh, talents who have joined the cadet as sportsmen. So I hope you are following them up. So we've got uh, already ta some talents who can, who can be tapped into. Um, and uh, we are ready to, obviously, uh, uh, cooperate with you and uh, to, to, to identify more and build more. The IGP outlined sports as one of the most efficient way of keeping healthy and fit. Police is planning to use sports as one of the tools to fight crime through organizing races like marathons, conducting public fitness drills, football and others. It's you know that we are diverting the uh, land of the police into something. No, no, it's we are building the capacity of the police and by extension the capacity of the country. Yes. Because a force be, be, is built on fitness, fitness of the human being, of the, of the personnel, fitness. And of course, in the process, we shall also be contributing to the fitness, to, to, the, to, to, to getting, uh, to identifying and incubating talent. I will disclose that police is in plan of electing up a statue for the late John Akiaboa in memory of his deeds for the force. In light facility development and Naguru, will help enhance modern allied police training and athletic training. Creating more Akiboas intentionally, so we plan. The medals we have won, there has been no planning and no investment from government. And I will make this very clear. We need to start planning and we create athletes and we groom athletes and we should be in position to choose which athletes we want to groom. That's what we would like to set up with you and we create a legacy program. With the completion of the High Performance Sports Center, Uganda will be able to produce more athletes in different sports disciplines. So we would like to partner with the forces simply because it is a proven formula and we would like to do that with you. As a sportsman, we think we do not need to explain too much to you. No, no. Whatever we present is what you would want to do because we've discussed this. The idea is to have elite athletes being absorbed into the forces. We have athletes who are educated or semi-educated or illiterate. Our job as the National Olympic Committee is to identify the best athletes. The UOC has already trained 20 police officers in sports administration at diploma level, 13 in Kampala and 7 in Gulu. Over 1 billion Uganda shillings have been set aside for the project, courtesy of the International Olympics Committee, International Federation, government and local sponsors. After the signing of the MOU, the IGP immediately instructed the joint task team to effect the works of the project. Frank Serugo, WSTV, Nagulu.